Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some methods for attaching reference files to a MicroStation print sheet and uh, the different methods that we have for that. Um, I'm going to begin by showing you some of the files that I have. Right now, I've got uh, projectdetails.dgn open, and I'm actually in the print sheet right now using a sheet model. And then I've got a few details, just design models in here. I've got uh, this uh, flume detail here. And in the flume detail, I have a saved view already created. So I created a saved view from the uh, primary toolbar up here called flume detail. So that basically sets the clipping boundaries for me when I get ready to attach this. In the uh, third model here, I have a different attachment method I want to use. I actually want to use what's called a saved fence. So if I go to my fences, you can see I've got this uh, saved fence here. And if you don't see that, you can just expand the uh, tool settings window for place fence. And you can see that bounding box. And if I double click on this, that actually activates the fence. So I've already clipped, bound, or created a fence here that I'll be using to uh, attach it. And then the last file here, I've got a drain detail that I'm going to be taking a look at. And for this one, what I did is created a named group. And if you're not familiar with named groups, it's underneath the utilities pull down, named groups. And from here, what I can do is basically create what's called a saved selection set. And if I select the elements in the named group, you can see the ones that highlight here are just the detail itself. I'm not picking up the uh, notes, the annotation, the title. I just created a selection set. There's 312 elements in there that make up the selection set. So I'm basically going to attach a selection set to a reference file. Okay. So those are the few files that I have uh, that are set up already prior to attaching them. So if I go back to my uh, first print sheet here, and usually what users do is when they attach a file, so I'm going to go here to reference attach, and I'm going to attach my project details and choose the model. I'm going to bring in this pipe under drain. And what most users do is actually place uh, just coincident or coincident world, depending on it. And when you hit OK, the file is attached, but this is what happens. You get the uh, file down here in the lower left-hand corner, and then somewhere is your border. And so what you have to do is actually have to move then the detail to your border sheet. So uh, if I go to my uh, tool set or tool options here for reference files and enable treat element as attachment for manipulation, so I'm going to toggle that on, then what I can do is do a move command 3-2 and pick up that detail and move it closer to the fence border. But it's still not perfect, so I still need to move it again until I get it where I want it. So the next three that I'm going to attach is going to save me the trouble of having to find it out in space and then move it to the border because the saved fence, the save view, and the name group all give me the options to actually place it in the border uh, attachment time. So the next one I'm going to attach, let me go back to attach here, project details. The next one I'm going to attach is going to be the flume detail. And this one, like I said, had a saved uh, view already created. So here's the flume detail using a saved view. And when I hit OK, you'll actually see on my cursor, I've got the bounding region of that uh, attachment. So all I have to do is just left click in the screen and place it automatically. So it takes care of being able to uh, locate it coincident and then move it. So I'm placing it at the same time. The next one that I'm going to attach is going to be number three here, section drain and pipe. This one, I created that named fence. So you notice here, I can pick that reference clip named fence, and then just set up my detail scale here to 1 100 and hit OK, and then place that one. So that was using that named fence that I created. Lastly, I'm going to attach the named group which is number four here. And you'll notice when I select a named group, I was able, this has actually been activated. And the other two, three attachments, this one wasn't available because there was no named group. Now that there is a named group, I can say select detail only. 
but if I still hit OK, it's still going to be placed at a coincident. So maybe what I want to do is just use a standard top rotation. Name group, detail only, hit OK. And then that lets me place the, the last detail here, which is, again, just what was in that saved selection set or named group. So three, four different attachment methods here for putting together a, a reference file, print sheet using reference files and not um, having it go way off into space and then you taking the time to actually move it back. So you've got saved views, named fences, and then you can use named groups with standard views. So hope you enjoyed the tip. For more tips and tricks, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.